The Archdiocese of Cincinnati is moving closer in its two year plan to close down and consolidate churches and schools all across the area. It's called the new families of parishes. The Archdiocese revealed what that'll look like. Local 12's Chris and Cornette takes a look at the plan and what it means to Catholics across Cincinnati. Parishioners who arrived for Sunday Mass at the Cathedral Basilica of St. Peter in Chains heard Archbishop Dennis Schnur commenting on the final plan for Beacons of Light for the first time. We have had the occasion to pause, to reflect on our history. The plan involves reducing the archdiocese from 208 parishes to 57. I am convinced that Beacons of Light, born in Great Hope, will enable us to form stronger parishes centered on the Eucharist that radiate the love of Christ and the joy of the Gospel. Beacons of Light was created to help address three main concerns you'll see here on the Archdiocese website. A decline of practice, less involvement in parish life, and a projected decline in the number of priests. Taking a moment to realign resources, to be realistic about uh, the placement of, or to be more cognizant of the placement of our priests and the ability for them to retire. Jennifer Schack is the Director of Media Relations for the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. She says 8,000 people weighed in after that first draft of the plan was introduced in October. You know, we did get a lot of positive feedback from the open comment period, but we also got a lot of questions and concerns. Two concerns involved the potential for schools or churches to close. The schools are um, attached to the parish, and so when a family of parishes gets implemented next summer, the future for the schools lies with the future of that family of parishes. So that pastor and those lay leaders uh, the deacons of the parish, the leaders of the parish will make those decisions. Among the changes people could see, Shaq says the main things will involve church leadership and a sharing of resources. Whereas today each of our churches has a pastor, we'll go to each of our family of parishes has a pastor, along with just maybe the dynamics of how your parish today interacts with the parish that's next to you and now is in your family. Well, you're going to be sharing resources. Kristen Cornett, Local 12 News. The Archdiocese says a lot of details will be worked out over the next few months. The next phase in the implementation process won't begin until next summer. To get a closer look at the new map of area families of parishes, look for this story on local12.com.